Martin Heidegger's concept of being is one of the most complex and foundational ideas in 20th century philosophy. His seminal work, Being and Time, Sein und Sein, 1927, attempts to reorient the entire field of ontology, or the study of being, around this concept. Heidegger begins by asserting that the question of being has been forgotten or overlooked by Western philosophy, which has largely focused on beings, entities, things, concepts, etc., rather than being itself. He aims to reawaken the question of the meaning of being. Heidegger introduces the concept of Dasein, a term he uses to describe human existence. Unlike other entities, Dasein has the unique characteristic of being concerned with its own being. Heidegger coins the term being in the world to describe the non-dualistic way that Dasein exists, not as a subject in a world of objects, but as fundamentally intertwined with the world. Dasein can exist in either an authentic or inauthentic manner. Inauthenticity is characterized by fallenness, in which Dasein is absorbed into the societal norms and they self, losing sight of its own individuality and potentiality for being. Authenticity involves a realization of one's own finitude and individual existence, which Heidegger calls being towards death. Time is crucial to Heidegger's concept of being. He argues that the traditional conception of time as a linear progression is derivative of a more primordial sense of temporality that is integral to Dasein's existence. This authentic temporality is a unity of past, present and future, and it provides the structure by which Dasein can understand its own being. Heidegger later introduces the concept of the clearing, Lichtung, where being comes into presence and is disclosed. It's not merely a tool for communication, but the house of being. The clearing is the precondition for anything to appear as it is. One of Heidegger's most significant contributions is the introduction of the ontological difference, the distinction between being, Sein, and beings, Seinaitis. The distinction between being and beings. Many of the difficulties and ambiguities in philosophy arise from overlooking the basic difference, according to Heidegger. In his later works, Heidegger becomes increasingly concerned with how technology changes our relationship to being. He critiques the inframing that technology imposes, which reduces the world and its beings to mere resources for human use. This obscures the more original relationship to being that Heidegger aims to uncover. This is a very high-level overview for bite-sized philosophy, and each of these concepts involves intricate arguments and subtleties. Heidegger's ideas have been incredibly influential, but also controversial, and they've been interpreted in many different ways. For a thorough understanding, there's no substitute for reading his works, perhaps multiple times, and engaging with secondary literature.